I miss my best friend. Your closet. Is it the closet? Oh, I think you're right. We and I bet we hide in the closet when she's abusive because it's the only place we can get away from her. Wow, that's really bright. Uh. Okay. Find mommy. I want to find mommy. At least it's fucking bad. Dude, at least it's daytime. <laughs> Be grateful it's daytime. That's all I'm saying. I don't think anything bad's gonna happen to us right now. My mom's gonna hit me. Well, I mean, yeah, mom's a cunt, but that's oh, not the look point. look at these are the fucking keys. Well, one of them. I don't know, I'm sure the star's flying around here somewhere. I think it was on a mobile or something. Check over your thing, your crib, wherever your crib would be. Oh, no, there's nothing there. All right, never mind. All right, turn around. It's not waste time. Mm -hmm. I want to know what's going on, man. I need oh, to the know. the star's right there. I found it. Oh, that makes sense with all the boxes and shit because they're probably in the middle of getting a divorce. Mm. Wow, dude, it's all coming to together now. They're trying. They're about. Where's the well? That's what I'm looking for. Puzzle pieces. Puzzle pieces. Yeah, they're about. They're in the middle of getting a divorce. That's why everything's all packed up and shit like that. Stuff you climbed on. The owls. Yep. In the rocking chair. Holy shit! I didn't expect any of this context the of the game. Yeah, we did see a lot of bottles now that I think about it. Didn't even acknowledge it. Should we... It's one of your toys. It won't let me pick it up. Yeah, it is one of my toys. No, you can't pick it up, but it won't let you put it in the inventory. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I meant. Uh-oh. Oh, I don't like that. Where's my teddy bear? Mm. It's the puzzle. Yep. I think the puzzle's the same. Yeah. Oh, man. It's so quiet. I know, and that's what's fucking with me right now. Another owl. Yep. And it's just getting darker and darker. That mom's drunk over here. Aww. Didn't I call that? She's crying. She fucking broke my bear. Whoa! Whoa! Run away from your mother. Get away from her. Go, go to her bedroom. <laughs> CPC, CPS is here. <laughs> Dad! Yeah, no, I think you're right. <laughs> <laughs> I think this is dad. Oh, yeah, it is dad. God, he's such a nice guy. I should stop scratching myself. Last time I did that, I started bleeding. Yeah, right? Oh, I completed it. Wow. That was a really cool game. I really liked that game. Very interesting. Super interesting. I liked it a lot. What's with us getting all these games about, like, drug and alcohol abuse? I have a problem. Unknowingly. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> well, I don't think it was necessarily, uh, like, I, I mean, it's usually unknowingly. Oh, our special thanks to our moms and dads. <laughs> and friends. You know who you are. Anyway, I I don't know. I mean, it's a thing that people deal with in video oh, games no shit. nowadays. Are, are these people from, was this a game made by people from Full Sail? Because it just said Full Sail something. Who the fuck is Full Sail? That's the freaking, uh, the university. That's, like, all about graphic design and video uh, game might development have been this and shit. shit. Huh? I, they might have made this. Uh, I think uh, I think it's actually owned by uh, Lucas. Really? I believe so. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but I think he is. God, that was cool. Yeah. I liked that game a lot. And I like the silence here. I think it's a, silence is really important in video games. Our lovely backers. Hashtag name. I'm looking up full sale, seeing if they. Can I was this. just gonna do that. Yeah. I'm doing it. Yeah. No, that I really liked this game. This is really cool. It was really cool. Wow, look at all these fucking backers, man. Mm. A lot of people believed in it. Well, interestingly so. I mean, they did a very good job. Holy shit, that's a lot of Alexes. Why are there so many fucking Alexes? There's a bunch of dickheads. No, dude, for real, look. No, I was looking at I was looking at Look at all the Alexes. Alexander, Alex, 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 Alexander. What the fuck? Anders? Why are there so many Anders? Maybe it's people that donated because it was a... But that many Anders? 
Many Andrews. Hey, I, and Andrews? Could, I could uh, apply for a course. Well, I guess that makes sense. I mean, I guess some of these names aren't exactly that, you know. Um. Can you skip? I don't know. Yeah, I believe so. Can we? Nope. All right, we got an oh. Arthur and an Artie though, so that's cool. Ooh, two Arthurs and an Artie. Oh, in a galaxy far, far away. All <laughs> yeah, right. It was published by Sony Computer Entertainment and Microsoft Studios, huh. and it was created by Krillbyte Studios. I don't know if. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, Hold it on. said something about Full Sail, so I'm assuming they have some kind of connection to it. Can I do it right now? Maybe they were graduates of Full Sail. Developed by Norwegian developer Krillbyte Studio, who doesn't have a Wikipedia page. Weird. Okay. Development. It got funded by their Norwegian Film Institute. That's weird, but okay. Yeah, it got kickstarted. It supports yeah. Oculus Rift. Anyway. Um, wow. Uh, so, uh, so yeah, that was Among the Sleep. I really liked that game. That was really cool. It was really interesting. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what else to say. I really don't. I mean, like, that was just... I mean, I think the game speaks for itself. That's fucking heavy, too. Yeah. I like heavy in a game. No, I do, too. I really do. Like, I like something that actually touches me. Like, you know, whether it's, you know... Bioshock Infinite, if you haven't. Like, um... <laughs> like, uh... Yeah, like my uncle, Casey. Um... <laughs> no, I don't know. I like games I like games that can actually make you feel something besides, like, you know, just like... Huh, huh, I'm killing things. Like, I like... Like, this game actually made me feel something. Like, I actually feel for the child. This child doesn't even exist, but I actually, like, feel sad and, like... And then because you happy... played as him, or exactly. I played as him, but you, you I, I, ex I was experiencing. But that's my point, though, is that like the fact that it could make me feel, I, it could actually make me feel oh, something okay. for somebody who doesn't exist, um, is like you know a big deal for me. I love games like that that can make me feel for a character that doesn't exist. Right. So, oh, that was very good. Yeah, I liked Impressed. it a lot. Um, yeah, I mean, you should go play it yourself too, just because it was really fun. Uh. Josh said, this is what, $15 on PlayStation? Yeah, it's 15 bucks on PlayStation. You can find it on PlayStation. Uh, it's also on Steam, right? Yeah, and uh, it's on Xbox One, too, I believe. Is it? I'm yeah, not sure. because one of the publishers was Microsoft, so. That makes sense, then, um, yeah. Um, I think that, uh, I mean, it, I thought that 15 bucks might have been a little bit expensive for it, but... If that you was don't... you thought about that halfway through. Do you I still thought about feel that, that now? halfway through. Uh, yeah, I still feel like it was a little bit expensive. I mean, the game's over. Like I, I beat it. I could yeah. go back and try to get everything, but like I don't give a shit about that. I'm not a completionist, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. But I mean, if you could catch it on a plus sale or a PlayStation sale or a Steam sale or yeah. any kind of sale, I recommend it. That was fun to sell. And like I, it was I mean, a I clean gameplay, and I mean, it was fucking way, terrifying. At see, here's the thing: is that the way I look at it is as, as far as pricing goes, and I'm gonna make this, you know short and sweet just go we're not like freaking boring everybody's ears off here but um i feel like when you, i feel like if everything in life the way i price things is break it down to time and level of enjoyment so like that we oh excuse me we played it for about what was it about two and a half hours uh yeah give or take. so two and a half hours that means we spent maybe i don't know a little like maybe like six six or seven dollars we'll say like seven change, yeah. Six or seven change an hour. I've spent six or seven change an hour worse ways. Is you get what I'm True. saying? No, like you're that, right. You're right. Like that's what I'm saying. Like I've I've gone to movies and spent an hour and a half for twelve dollars and hated every minute. Yeah, of I've it. seen Cloverfield, man. Okay, well, th before we get into that discussion, Cloverfield's fantastic. We'll have this Cloverfield's garbage. We'll have this discussion afterwards. But anyways... If you don't see another episode of Catatonic Gaming after that, it's because me and Artie broke up because of this fucking <laughs> argument. <laughs> but, uh, but yes, I mean, I don't know. I think I think $15, I think it was worth it. I think, I think you know, if this was like a full-fledged game and they were like, $60, I'd be like, no, fuck you. But for $15... At least I don't feel as ripped off as that time I bought the Order 1886. Yeah. I'm sorry you paid for that. Um, <sighs> so, yeah, $15, totally worth it. Um, if you don't think so, like Josh said, you can pick it up on sale. Well, uh, I, I think it was a fun-ass game. Yeah, I, I think I think you should play it though. I I really do because I'm assuming there are slight differences, you know, that can change a little bit. Um, and if there's not variables, it's still a really interesting game. Yeah, either way, just to experience yourself, yeah. and especially if you have access to freaking an Oculus. I bet this thing would be crazy on Oculus. Well, I would play it a heartbeat on yeah. Oculus, and so, I don't um, like our Oculus that much. I think <laughs> so, it's really cool that the devs decided to put in support for that. That's yeah. really good. Yeah. I feel like I feel like a lot of games now are kind of doing that anyways. They actually make it for Oculus and then do backwards compatibility to make a controller compatible. It's almost like making a 3D movie and then making the 2D one available as well. Good. But 
just because it's the more options you put out into the field, the more sales you get, yeah. kind of thing. But anyways, uh, now that we're done ranting about that, great game. Go play it. Thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next uh, installment of Cats on a Game, whatever it is we're going to play. Who knows? Yeah. You'll find out. You'll, yeah, you'll find out when we find out. Yeah, now let's talk about fucking Cloverfield and how garbage it was. Let's wait a minute. <laughs> Bye, guys. Bye, I love you.